Okay, guys. Hi, hello. Welcome to another episode of Play in 10, the weekly show where 10 bucks either grows in cash or goes in the trash. I'm Captain Cardsworth, and today we are looking at five $2, 10 times the money tickets from the Missouri Lottery. Um, I know I've scratched these before on the show, but I've never scratched five at once. I think the most I've ever, I think I've only ever scratched one at a time. Um, and I haven't actually had a winner on these yet, so wanted to play a few, uh, see if we could get a winner if we buy more than one. Uh, we are, looks like we are playing tickets 60 through 64 today. Um, on our 10 times the money ticket, we are looking at a top potential prize of $25,000 and an average payout of, an average win of 1 in 4.46, including $2 prizes. So let's go ahead and dive right into 10 times the money. 10 times the money is your standard match your winning number ticket. We are looking for 8 and 15, or we can also look for a 5x to multiply it by 5, or a 10x to multiply it by 10. Now, I've been told um, that if I scratch too much, it'll actually reveal little letters. Like you can see, there's a letter right here. It looks like a T. Uh, there's actually a code that the scratcher's tickets use, and it tells you how much you win... Uh, based off that code. And there's actually like three of them here on the card somewhere. I think there's the N. Uh, each state has something differently. I have not actually looked into this, but I have noticed that a couple of the tickets do have the same letter combinations for the same prize. Uh, you know, I won a couple of $25 tickets, and they both had the same uh, three-letter code, so there must be some validity to that. As we're looking for 4 and 16... And right off the bat, there's an R, so I don't know if I've automatically lost or not. Again, I haven't done all the research. I'm going to try not to scratch too much around it, but the problem, and there's a winner right there. Okay. So that's nice. We have one winner at least, and we have two winners. Awesome. Hopefully those are not both just like $1 and $1, so hopefully it's not just a $2 winner, but we'll see. Uh, we're going to go ahead and scratch that off at the end. And... That was ticket number 60. As we look for 17 and 12. As I was saying, the problem with this ticket is the numbers don't go in like a straight line. Oh, there's a 5x. We already have an instant win. The numbers don't go in a straight line. You see how they're kind of staggered? As opposed to some tickets where you can just do like a straight shot right down and get everything in a very close formation. Uh, let's see, looking for 17 or 12... So we did not get anything there, but we did win a 5x. We did reveal the 5x. So, oops, I dropped that on the floor. Where'd it go? Ah, there it is. Pardon me if my hair comes into the shot here. Alright, so that's two winners out of five so far. And we still have three tickets to go. Let's see what our winning numbers are here. 11 and 1. Ooh. Could be interesting. Looking for a lot of ones here. And nothing. So there's another ticket down. And finally, our final ticket to scratch and see if we've got any wins. Looking for the numbers 4 and 18. So we got a 14 and 8 right off the bat. I love when tickets do that. It's like you're so close to winning on both of those, but it's like the opposite of what you need. And nothing. All right. So three tickets. So we actually beat the odds. We were only going to get one. We were only supposed to mathematically hit one ticket, uh, but we actually hit two. Um, actually, it was the first ticket we bought and the last ticket we bought. We got ticket number sixty here, and then our other ticket is sixty-four. So let's go ahead and see. We have two matching sixteens. Let's see what we have under the first sixteen. Two dollars. So that means I'm going to predict this is another two dollars. And it is. All right, so four dollars. Not a bad win, not a bad win. And this one is a five times prize, uh, ticket number 64. So let's see what we have under the 5x. Probably just a one dollar, probably a one dollar or a two dollar. So maybe a five or a ten dollar winner. Let's see. One dollar. So five times one is five bucks, but I will take that. So five dollars combined with the two from this one, or the four from this one, means we won nine dollars. We won nine dollars back out of our ten. So, still ended up losing a dollar for the week, but I will take that. I'm not going to complain. It's a pretty good week. 
And in any case, that's what we're going to be playing this week. I will be back again next week with another episode of Play in 10. Until then, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and keep scratching.